All right, so what's funny is in the Red Wing area here, uh, we do it differently than the Twin Cities. Um, in Red Wing, typically the buyer will go in and sign first. They come out into, into the lobby, the seller will go in and sign second. They come back out to the lobby and then the, the closer will bring out checks and they'll hand off you know checks and folders and files and stuff like that to the uh, buyers, sellers and agents. And then people kind of have a little bit of time there to talk. Now, what's common and it's kind of interesting <clears throat> is when I'm doing closings in the Twin Cities, uh, you'll have everybody usually at a big table. So they have a very big table and you'll have uh, buyer's closers sitting there signing the buyer stuff. The other end of the table, you have the seller sitting there signing their things. And it just seems to be more common there uh, than, than it is certainly down here. Um, and the first few closings I had, uh, you know, many, many years ago in the Twin Cities, I felt uncomfortable having the other side of the closing sitting there. And then I realized, okay, this is uh, business as usual here. So, uh, which is fine. I mean, you get more time to chat with the other side, you know, uh, clients there, and you kind of get to hear some stories about the house and things like that. So, uh, but definitely that's, that's how it works in the two areas.